While naturalists have long observed unusual proportions, and artists carefully sketch the proportions of the body, not counting the occasional large-eyed princess, I want to talk about proportions in paper size. There are two common sizes for laser printer paper. U.S. letter size, measuring 8.5 by 11 inches squared, is officially used in the United States and Canada. The rest of the world officially subscribes to the ISO standard A4, measuring 21 by 29.7 centimeters squared. However, a few countries, namely Mexico, Costa Rica, Colombia, Venezuela, Chile, and the Philippines, commonly use U.S. letter format, despite their official adoption of ISO standards. And although A4 originated in Germany, it is not taller than U.S. letter because Northern Europeans, over a 150-year period, have become taller on average than Americans and Canadians. For mathematical reasons, A4 is superior to U.S. letter. It all comes down to aspect ratio, that is, the quotient of the longer side to the shorter side. For A4, the aspect ratio is about 1.4142, while for U.S. letter, it's 1.2941. The origin of U.S. letter's aspect ratio seems murky, but the aspect ratio for A4 has a significant practical use. Two copies of an image can be shrunk without changing the aspect ratio and put together to exactly cover A4. This does not work with U.S. letter. To maintain the aspect ratio, either one of the images has to be cut off or there must be wasted space. Ignoring the aspect ratio to make the images fit causes distortion. How is A4's aspect ratio determined? If the original sheet has width x and height y, then half of this has width y over 2 and height x. Since these two pieces have the same aspect ratio, this implies y over x is equal to x over y over 2. Solving this algebraically produces y over x equals the square root of 2, approximately 1.4142. A4 is part of the A series of sizes which all have the same aspect ratio. A0 is the unique size whose aspect ratio is the square root of 2 and whose area equals 1 square meter. Cutting A0 in half gives the size A1, half of that is A2, etc. The advantage of using this specific aspect ratio was observed in 1786 by the German scientist Georg Christoph Lichtenberg. Only in the early 20th century did Walter Postmann convert Lichtenberg's ideas into a system of different sizes of paper. Common uses of A-series sizes are listed in this table. This includes large newspapers to small diaries and even smaller ID cards. Because you sometimes want to photocopy two pages onto one, this special aspect ratio is built into photocopiers. An A3 to A4 conversion button shrinks two A4 sheets which combined make A3 onto one sheet of A4. An A4 to A3 button can expand two combined A4 sheets onto A3. So why don't all countries embrace the A series? Probably for the same reason they resist the metric system, but don't get me started.